Hey everybody, Kevin here for WranglerForum.com. I'm going to be doing an upgrade to the rear cargo area on the Jeep today. Uh, as you know, I carry a lot of stuff when I go off-roading. We've got bins, we've got a freezer, fridge combination over here. Uh, by the time we put everything in, it's kind of a little bit disorganized. So up in this area, we're going to go ahead and add a cargo tray. It's going to mount to either side on the roll bar with a bracket, and then some plates, and then the tray will slide in on top of that. So let me show you what that looks like. So here is the actual tray and the various parts you're going to need to assemble it. And this comes from one of our forum sponsors, Hook Road, and they are a division of U-Box Off-Road. You can go ahead and check out their site if you want. They have other various products, uh, bumpers, uh, grab handles, all those types of things. But kind of looking over this all, um, pretty cool on the tray. It's got several different holes already in the metal, so you can hook up ratchet straps to hold everything down. Uh, the welds connecting the bottom tray to the top tubing all seem to be uniform. Uh, the brackets uh, appear to be okay as well. It's got a decent finish on it. Uh, these brackets right here are pretty beefy and pretty heavy, uh, so they should be able to support the weight of this no problem. And again, you're going to use these to go around the roll bars and then secure uh, onto this bracket over here like that. So let me go ahead and get the stuff that I have currently in the back of the Jeep out, and then we'll get started putting this all together. Just something I wanted to point out to everybody, it looks like there's a little bit of overspray of the coating material on the top few couple threads on each of the holes. So what I've been doing is just taking uh, a wire brush and then just kind of cleaning those up to try to get into those holes to get some of this stuff out of there. Uh, it's not too bad, it takes just a, you know, a couple minutes to get that taken care of. And then I'm taking my, my hex head and I'm taking the bolt and going all the way through just to kind of clear that all out, make sure the rest of the threads are good. Uh, to alleviate any gunk that still might be in there. And of course, once I take it out, clean the hole out and then move to the next one. But just kind of wanted you to be aware of that uh, if you run into that same problem, how easy it is to take care of. So once you have both of the brackets set up, you're then going to install the, the mounting plates. And there's a slight taper. The back's wider than the front, or maybe this is the front and that's the back. I'm not 100% sure. The instructions don't call out which is the right way. So I'm going to put the larger uh, portion to the rear on both of them and if it doesn't work I'll switch it out not a big deal but you're gonna take one of these big guys and put through here and then line it up into the hole up top like so and then your second one get one of these over here got it right here that's gonna go let's see there there we go and again you want to snug these up well, you really want to snug them up. You want to get them in there finger tight so that you have to adjust anything you can. Right now, I'm going ahead and rough fitting this uh, cargo liner in here. I've got actually a, a trash can here to use as a spacer. Got the brackets in. Uh, my guesstimate of where the brackets were going to be up here was way off. It looks like they're going to actually be down further. Uh, you're going to have to be something I have to play with and adjust still. But right now, I'm just trying to temporarily fix this in here. Uh, getting the bolts in here to kind of see where everything goes, and then we'll kind of finish it up. Then move over to this side. Let's see if I can't get this side up again. See it stays. Again, just doing a test fit right now. I've marked a location on here where I think they're going to be uh, fit perfectly to clear everything down here that we had before. It's about seven and a half inches down from the back side of this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I'm going to go ahead and tighten both brackets on at that measurement, put everything back together and check it, and we'll see how it goes. The brackets on, and as you can see here, I did need to go ahead and use a knife to uh, cut some of the material away so that the bracket could fit, keeping the roll bar padding on the roll bar. I was not able to use this pocket because we had to move the bracket down on the roll bar. Again, that's just something you can consider and do yourself if you want. Um, I just decided to go ahead and cut it as it worked out better that way. So at this point, just installing the hardware fully with all the lock washers and other washers. Right now we're just going to snug this down. We don't want to make it too tight because we still need to have a little bit oh, yeah, maybe a little bit too tight. A little bit of movement. I'll do this one just a little bit of movement so we can go ahead and get the tray in there properly. Get the other side done, we'll put the tray in. Alright. So I've got everything buttoned up at this point. It is pretty secure. Um, again, you're going to have to tighten those down a little bit just to make sure it doesn't move. I've also got it setting uh, kind of halfway between where I thought it was going to go and the bottom end of where I thought it was going to go. And that works out really well because I still can get full access uh, to the fridge, which is great when we have that in there for those long vacations to keep everything nice and cold. Uh, again, I'm going to upgrade to a different box down here because obviously you can't really get into here with that there, but we'll take care of that. And as far as how much space is up here, it's a pretty big space. You've got a lot of room in here and I like the fact that you've got all these tie-down locations. 
This is just a tool bag that I've used over the years. I've got my actually my compressor, air compressor in here right now. To give you an idea, you could probably fit, I don't know, five or six of those across and maybe uh, if you pull it all the way forward, another maybe two or three behind it. So there's a ton of room back here. Height-wise, you can fit something pretty tall as well. So uh, sleeping bags, luggage, all that kind of stuff, it's gonna make it a lot easier uh, to store everything back here and more organized uh, when we're heading out on the trail. So again, this is their cargo rack system. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. But I wanna thank again our forum sponsor Prude, for sending this to us. I think it's a really neat product and one you should definitely consider if you're looking to add additional storage space to the back of your Wrangler. I'm Kevin for Wrangler Forum, and we'll see you next time.